Hi guys, welcome to Revolutionary Motion. I am Clemens. And I'm Kata. And today we're going to show you the technical difference between a doubles and a singles volley and explain why you should learn to hit your singles volleys with a slice. When you play singles, you start at the baseline. So when you come to the net, the first ball that you hit is usually around the service line. So you, you must try to hit it with more slice to keep the ball low and so it skids and doesn't uh, bounce high. Because if you hit it down or with top spin, it will have a higher bounce and it will be easier to pass you. But if the ball will be low and it will skid, then your opponent will try to lift it up. At that time you will be already closer to the net and it will be easier to finish the ball off. In doubles, you're trying to finish off every volley that you can reach. You're positioned closer to the net, which allows you to hit down on the ball and have better angles. So you can hit the ball into the feet of your opponent or away from your opponent. So when you hit a slice volley that we call a singles volley, you meet the ball next to you on your side and right before the contact point you go under the ball to give it more slice. You lead it with the front edge and make sure you hit it on the side. So also try not to make it like a chopping motion like this. Try to slice the ball by rotating your forearm and going under the ball. Now for the doubles volley, you try to hold the racket more in front of you, the uh, racket head a little bit open and you hit down on the ball with your racket face going towards the direction where you want to hit. I hope this video will help you guys to understand how to hit your singles and doubles volleys more efficiently. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.